Hi, I'm Gu Xi. I'm a PhD student in Kyoto University. In this video, I will give a brief introduction for our paper, Batch Reinforcement Learning from Crowd. Batch Reinforcement Learning uses interaction data to train agents. To understand the setup, consider the navigation task that takes several steps to complete. At each step, the agent observes its location, which corresponds to a state. Given the state, it takes a movement, which corresponds to the action for this step. This process repeats until it reaches its goal state or terminated by humans. The sequences of state and actions are the data for IL. In particular, for batch RL, the interaction data is generated by other agents. The goal of RL is to learn the optimal policy. Such optimality is characterized by the reward function. The optimal policy is a policy that maximizes the cumulative reward obtained during solving the task. Clearly, without a reward function, it is impossible to apply batch RL to a real-world task. However, designing a reward function is difficult. Designers must know the effects of all actions at each state. This is difficult for tasks with large state space. Our idea is to learn the reward function using crowdsourcing. In particular, we ask crowd workers to compare pairs of experiences and tell us the better ones. Then, we learn a reward function from the collective preferences and use the reward function to train agents. The downside of using crowdsourcing is that the crowd workers make mistakes. They make mistakes because of limited expertise, the lack of commitment, and the weakness of task description. So the crowdsource preferences are full of noise and unreliable. In this paper, we propose a model that effectively mo handle the reliability of crowdsource preferences. The main idea of our solution is to model preferences collaboratively. When modeling the reliability of a preference, our model not only considers the annotator who gave generated the label, but also other annotators who compare the same pairs of experiences. A label will be more reliable if it agrees with the labels given by credible annotators. The reward network will take the reliability of preferences into account when learning from them. We evaluate the proposed model using four Atari tasks and compare the proposed model with two baselines. We use this method to learn reward functions and train our neural agents using these reward functions. In this curve, the y-axis are the average cumulative reward of RL agents, while the x-axis is for training iterations. As you can see, our model results in faster convergence and better performance. Thank you.